Welcome to part 8 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basic series. In this episode, we'll focus on creating CAD geometry for use in an assembly, take a look at the shell command, and create sketches on work planes from the model tree. To start, create a 2D circular sketch on the XY plane. Define the diameter to be 2 inches, and after finishing the sketch, extrude it for 2 inches. From the origin folder in the model tree, right click on the YZ plane and choose to create a new sketch. To more easily see the sketch plane, go to the View tab and change the visual style to Wireframe. Back in the Sketch tab, choose the Project Geometry command and select the top and bottom lines of the cylindrical cross section. Next, draw a center line between the two newly projected lines. Now, sketch a half inch diameter circle at the center point of the line. After finishing the sketch, choose to cut a hole in both directions, with distance set to All. Change the visual style back to Shaded with Edges, and from the 3D Model tab, choose the Shell option. Make sure to have the Remove Faces option selected, and define the wall thickness to be 0.1 inch. Select the front face of the cylinder, and you will see a preview of the resulting geometry before clicking OK. Notice that the Shell command removed all material other than the 0.1 inch thickness, leaving the back surface as well as a cylinder around the extrusion created before the shell command was finished. To finish this part up for the assembly, create a 2D sketch on the front surface and once again create a center line. Under the rectangular sketch option, choose two point center. Pick the center point of the line and then define the width of the rectangle to be 0.75 and the height to be one inch. After finishing the sketch, extrude the rectangle 1.875 inches, enough to remove the cylinder, but not to the back surface. Join me again for the next Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics video, where I'll continue to design parts for use in assemblies, this time with a focus on sketch constraints.